Hey beautiful Libras, welcome back to the channel guys. I want to show you what some of the upcoming gifts are going to be. These beautiful candle holders, Feng Shui manifestation um, partners to the lamps. Guys, these are beautiful. I love them. They're all made out of a natural aspen and they're hand created handmade so i i love handmade stuff guys these are no exception they're my favorite new holders <laughs> guys that's going to be some of the prizes that are upcoming to some lucky subscribers i'm doing something interesting today libra i'm asking the akashic records for information about libra things that Libra needs to know. Caught in the ruins. Hmm. Loving elementals. Three of roses. Which three is this three of cups? This is like, oh my God. Special children, loving elementals all around you. You're very loving people, but let's see what the Akashic Records have to say, guys. Thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for subscribing and commenting Libra what up in the air it's like a balloon the king of keys which is the king of coins hmm something is up in the air here oh wow and releasing you it's like the elementals are important here this is the akashic field this is the aurora borealis miracles like king of keys this is wealth this is having a kingdom this is groundedness wealth security and queen of key keys having the power to overcome this is the goat energy ascension standing over and above the garden five of roses Freeing yourself from something. The willow is here. Look, a new tree. That's the being rich and abundant, like very healthy. A tree planted near the water has all the nourishment it needs to grow tall. Look, there's an eagle or a hawk there. Two of forces, which means the two of swords. Overcoming some kind of indecision. This is birth here, new life and commitment. Ace of Cups. Archangel Raphael is important for you. So this is King and Queen of Cups or King and Queen of Pentacles. It was written in the Akashic Records for this to be abundant. This was written to carry something into the new world. Hang on. Tell me what Archangel Raphael represents. According to Wikipedia, due to his actions in the Book of Tobit and the Gospel of John, St. Raphael is considered patron of travelers, the blind, happy meetings, nurses, physicians, medical workers, matchmakers, Christian marriage, and Catholic studies. There you go. Any 
and it's to bring these gifts into the new world. These are gifts you have carried over from a past life to bring in to the new world. Wealth, stability, a solid foundation, caregivers, caring for children, commitments, caring for those you love, caring for the world, humanity. It's like planting something on a solid foundation. The Akashic field, the field is builders. This is luxury. This is well, like the elementals, being connected to the elementals. All the symbols of water, air, earth, sun. All the elements you need to have a stable, grounded, wealthy, secure future. Some of you are care providers, care for children, care for the earth, care for the elements, care for the health of the environment, care for the health of the lands, the waters, the air, and those in it. Hmm. Libra. Something was unclear. Been called as peacemakers, guys. You're called to bring diplomacy and tact into difficult situations. Consider politics, negotiations, unions, contracts, or any peacemaking career. Real estate. Building a solid foundation prior to building several stories above it. Consider careers in real estate, interior design, architecture, or any home business. It's time to go back and strengthen your finances. Hmm, Gaia. Spend time with the elements, nature to be healed, soothed, and regroup. Protecting the planet, herbalism, livestock, or working with nature could be for you. The universe is working with you. Believe in its subtle magnetic magnetism to guide you. S Slow and steady wins the race. This is not a good time to rush. Pay attention to every detail. Careful not to get involved in any get rich quick schemes this is media step into the spotlight and get seen don't allow your talent to go unnoticed your career a career in television radio magazine or any mass media job might be perfect for you it may be time to get more publicity if you want to increase your finances leadership it's time to step up into your leadership role and make in your own life. You can expect to succeed in any leadership position. Your finances will greatly improve once you accept and step into your power. Accept the crown, your kings and queens. Accept your power. Accept your role. It's in the Akashic Records. You were meant to lead. <sighs> Putting that crown on, that's royalty, man. Kings and queens status. Taking your power back and placing the crown back on your head where it was rightfully belonged to be.
You have gifts and talents you're supposed to be bringing into the new world. The age of Aquarius is upon us. Appreciation and love are identical vibrations. I can transform my own world. The physical me is materialized spirit. You are meant to be royalty. You are meant to live like kings and queens. Honoring yourself, honoring your Akashic lineage. Life is always working out for me. Say these mantras. I am the creator of my own life experience. Hmm. From the past, you were wealthy in the past. You were wealthy people in the past. And you're meant to be wealthy upon this earth. Yes, materially, as well as every other way. And using those gifts to protect the earth, the elements... You have innate abilities to care for the earth and the inhabitants of it. What's going on? You have a merry motive. You are going to make a powerful move. I told you. Age of Aquarius, the star. Your destiny healing gifts. You have a powerful purpose and using this power for good means. Indecision is in your past life and it is in this life. Smoke and mirrors the matrix, the time machine. I told you it's about taking the authority, taking that crown and put it back on your head where it belongs. The royal you, kings and queens, living with the elementals, living with an abundance mindset, just because somebody took the crown off your head does not mean you cannot put it back on. Bearing fruit. There's that tree. Look. You are meant to bear fruit. You are meant to have material wealth. You are meant to live as kings and queens because it is helping the planet helping uh, the inhabitants of this earth protecting like protecting the elements protecting the creatures upon the earth oh my lord it's time to live like those kings and queens and take your power back hmm Hmm. Celebrate. Solid foundation. What's going on? This is a challenge that you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others and have patience with yourself and those around you. King of Michael. Principled, rational, ambitious, and respected. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity 
a situation that calls for honest and open communication. You can overcome whatever situation you've been faced with. There's a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. It seems like there's a crossroads here. Uh, which way should I go? Which path should I choose? Knight of Michael. Strong, committed, intellectual, and diligent. It's time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion. There could be sudden changes that you're going to have to make a decision. Oh my lord. Ace of Raphael. A person. A positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. Every one of these cards, you're surrounded by the elements, the earth, the water, the air. King of Ariel, successful, stable, accomplished, and powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success, using resources wisely. When you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change, extremes in how you save or spend money. Queen of Raphael, kind, understanding, giving, and psychic. Follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy, and psychic information. The opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and go stronger, the moon. You will bear fruit. You are meant to bear fruit. So someone could have pulled a smoke and mirror act over you. Commitment. Someone regrets. A tower would like to make an apology. There's some kind of energetic news. Someone chose logic over emotion. Someone chose logic over love. Move swiftly. Mm. Somebody may have gotten involved with a get-rich-quick scheme. This is growth. This is the sun and the chariot and the ace of wands. Yeah, someone's heavily burdened or is exhausted depressed someone is wants to return fear of rejection could be here feeling insecure this is a promise or overcoming their fear fear of being trapped or manipulated this is um Someone could have used logic over emotion, thinking that they were making a logical choice. This is, oh geez, the Empress with the Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor. Someone warm, someone generous. This is a good father. This is a good character. 
but they procrastinated. What the hell? Got something to do with hurting their loved ones, betraying them. This is like wanting justice in family. This is a good mother, a good father. This is someone who cares deeply about family and children. There's been a decision or someone's under some kind of a judgment here. Somebody held back or is holding on to. Hmm. This is architecture. This is building a home or building a solid foundation. This is building a business. It could be a home-based business. This could be entrepreneurship. Strength. This is healing or, oh, King of Pentacles. Kings and Queens. What's going on here? Feeling like a fool. Okay, so this is a King of Wands who is looking at the Nine of Pentacles. Took a leap of faith on some kind of, maybe they want to reunite. Ooh, swift. They better speed up their game here. They better go chasing this Queen of Wands. Oh, wow. So there was indecision. They made a decision that has hurt, perhaps, the Queen of Wands. Look, guys, this is the first time I've ever seen these two. Um, well, not the first, but it doesn't happen very often where it's a face-to-face, clear-up communication problems. King and Queen of Wands, King and Queen of Pentacles, King, oh, Emperor and Empress. Instead of being angry, why don't they just clear up their communication problems? This is wish fulfillment. Yes, it is. This was destined. This is, you know, to bring something into the new world. Archangel Raphael is like crowned these two. They're wearing crowns, man. I'm telling you. Clear up communication problems. There's nothing you can't overcome. This is King and Queen of Wands looking at each other face-to-face -face communication. This is wish fulfillment. This is a couple that is come from a past life to be united here on this earth for a big purpose, to bear fruit upon the earth to bear fruit. What the hell is wrong here? Because somebody interfered and somebody was Paying somebody to make somebody jealous or, oh, well, because they're broke. Conflict. Slow and steady wins the race. What the hell? Get a plan. What the hell is this sneaky ass energy doing here? What is the Queen of Pentacles doing here? Oh. Oh, jeez. Fighting over the Ten of Pentacles. Fighting over a commitment. Or, or... <laughs> what the fuck is this? 
fighting over competing for a soulmate. Put in the damn work. Stop stressing the hell out and communicate. Give it a rest, Spirit saying. Give it a rest. This person could have self-sabotaged their own relationship. They're meant to be a leader. This is two people that are meant to lead, to bring success and the truth into the new world. This is a couple that was arranged to bring a fruit, bear fruit. Hmm. Is this, uh, they got themselves stuck in a karmic situation? Yes, it is. Oh, Jesus. So this is like, that's what made them unsure and unstable. They should have resisted temptation. They should have risen, fought against the devil. Fought for this. So this is past life karma. Learning, spying from afar. It's like I, sh they're spying. So it's like, learn from the past, man. These are two people that are meant to be in union to, it's to serve the world. The age of Aquarius. So somebody interfered in a union. Uh, this person is a loving father. They are um, I think they got tricked with the smoke and mirror act. I do. Someone taking advantage of the fact that they are a good father, that they are a leader, that they are meant somebody interfered in someone's union that were meant to bring these gifts from Archangel Raphael, from the Akashic Library that has been writ to be a light of the world. These are two people that are meant to be together to bring light to the world. It is written in the Akashic Records for crying out loud. It's written in the library. The Akashic Library is here. Archangel Raphael has gifted these two people these gifts to bring to the new world to help heal the earth. The elementals are all here. Until the devil got involved here. They should have resisted the devil and soon shall they flee. Don't worry. Stop stressing out. Stop being indecisive. They want to work and build. These are two people that's written in the Akashic Library to be together. And what Spirit has put together, let no man put us under. Hmm. Thinking that they could come against a star seed. Whatever. You know, when two people are meant to be together, they are just simply meant to be together. This is royalty. This is royalty. It's written in the Akashic Library. This is the Akashic Records. And instead of following, you know, their heart, their heart told them to be with this queen or vice versa. But...
someone trick them. Took advantage of them because they are a loving, generous soul, a loving, generous spirit who has a strong sense for children and family. Someone tricked them by saying perhaps that they were pregnant, playing on their guilt, playing on their sympathies. And they were supposed to use, a, you know, uh, I don't know, head over heart decision. Always follow your heart. I mean, be logical, but follow your heart. Hmm. It's from a past life. So this karmic came from a past life. once again interfere in a divine union it's written in the the akashic library they're going to be some big ass karma to pay for this i can tell you that it's time to communicate it is time to resolve some kind of conflict or some kind of problem it's time logically thinking like well that's self-sabotage thinking you know well they would have more wealth or whatever you know what i mean never followed their heart listen to logic instead of their heart and now it's like they're losing their money because they would have had generational wealth had they stayed with this empress energy or this emperor energy. So some karmic manipulated them, guilted them into like, it's time to sort out this conflict. This is two of Raphael and two of Michael. It will be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem. Find a compromise. Two hearts that are dedicated to creating something wonderful. These are kindred spirits. Don't give up on those you love. Love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members, the happy ever after. That's what it was supposed to be. So let it be so. I mean, whoever these people are. If it's written, it's going to be. And it doesn't matter what karma comes in between it. If it is meant to be, it's going to be. Whether anybody likes it or doesn't like it. Hmm. Leadership, royalty. Quiet your mind. Ace of Cups. It's beyond the ordinary. The royal you. What can I say? Peacekeepers. So how can they keep the peace if they have no peace? There is no problem you cannot solve. There is no problem that you cannot work out. There is nothing you cannot overcome. This is birth. This is 
new life. I just know if it's meant to be, it's going to be. <laughs> Sorry, karmic. <laughs> Manipulation or not. written in the library. The garden. Tend your garden. It's written in the library to be th the Overflowing, overflowing. war the lookout you know where they're on sailing ships sailing vessels and they go climb up high on the mast to look out for dangers and enemies this is spiritual warfare these are winged messengers Two of roses, two of cups, soulmates, kindred spirits. What's going on? The War of the Roses. The hell? Fighting over kingdoms? Fighting over ground? Fighting over spiritual battle? The battlefields are here. Hmm. I don't know enough about that. What was the War of the Roses? According to Wikipedia, the Wars of the Roses, known at the time and for more than a century after as the Civil Wars, were a series of civil wars fought over control of the English throne in the mid to late 15th century. Told you you guys were kings and queens. It's fighting over ground, fighting over turf, fighting over uh, wealth, fighting over uh, War of the Roses is one king and one fighting against the, a queen over wealth, over territory. Property. Civil War. Somebody's coming back on this earth to wear a crown of glory. Someone chose logic over emotion, did not follow their heart. Fighting over wealth. That's what came between a kindred soulmate connection. 
Money? What up? Each one fighting over who has more. This kingdom or that kingdom. Divide and rule. Divide and conquer. Not seeing that the enemy was waiting to attack. You know how one kingdom tries to overtake another. But this is earthly earthly things dying in battle over fighting for the king the queen that civil war that's somebody may be in this life reclaiming their kingdom take care <laughs> 